I'm going to teach you in less than five minutes how a carburetor works. Here you have a carburetor. I'm going to explain the various parts. Here's your top end, uh, usually an air vacuum seal type thing, don't have to worry about it. Here's your butterfly valve. Here's your air mix inlet pilot. Here's your fuel pilot. Here's your main pilot. This is for starting. This is your main. And then here's the bowl. Inside the bowl, the, basically the carburetor is three different parts. It does three different things, three systems. The first system is a fill to fill fuel. You have the fuel supply here. In this bowl, you want an ample amount of fuel to support the carburetor. And you have two floats. When the level gets to a certain point, it shuts off the fuel, but it maintains a level to supply the system. The carburetor has basically two modes. First, it's your start mode. Here's the butterfly. It's closed, otherwise the choke is on. When the choke is on, you're not allowing direct airflow. Airflow is forced into the bowl via an air pilot. In this bowl, it mixes in and comes out of a fuel pilot, which is fuel and air. Notice this, this uh, pilot is not into, it doesn't go quite into the, uh, into the fuel. Some do, but some use the main jet, but uh, most of them don't. Your basic carburetor doesn't. Some do. Um, as far as technical differences, I don't care. I'm just showing you how a basic carburetor works. So, we have air going into the bowl, actually into the bowl. That's why you have a sealed gasket on the bowl attached to the main carburetor. And this blows out, not only starts out with the air and then mixes in with the fuel, but then when it comes out, it's air, fuel, vapor. That's how your vehicle starts, whether it's a motorcycle, lawnmower, car, what have you. This is not fuel injection, by the way. Don't confuse it to fuel injection is totally different. Then when you're normally running, these two go out of play. You have airflow going straight through the carburetor. Now you have the siphon effect. Imagine if there's a straw right here and it's inside, instead of me sucking on a straw, if I blow across the straw, I will create enough of a siphon to bring that fuel up, to siphon that fuel up. That's what this is designed for. Notice these two items are not in the loop here. They're just, they're totally isolated. Not totally isolated, they're still open, but there's actually uh, no pilot air being forced into the bowl. It comes straight into here, and there's actually a vacuum here. So this is out now out of play. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to it as far as a carburetor goes. As far as working on them, that's totally different. There's different variances. Some have more than one of these. Some have longer, shorter. Some have, There's different configurations. This is your basic carburetor. Uh, hopefully this explains it and simplifies it. It's really not that complicated. When I first started working on carb carburetors, I thought it, w it was complicated. And it is sort of complicated when you're dealing with these pilot orifices and these regulation regulating needles and fuel flow valves and floats and things like that because they're supposed to work at a certain rate, a certain percentage, especially your main fuel flow pilot. Uh, hopefully there's no questions, but that's pretty much it.